I'm Linnea, I'm a PhD student at Lamont, and I study mangrove forest. So this study was about soil carbon. So mangrove forests have some of the highest amount of below ground carbon storage of all types of forests. So because of that, there's a lot of interest in what are called blue carbon credits generated from mangroves and other coastal wetlands and they're being traded on the voluntary market. So I wanted to know, are the methods that are being used to estimate that soil carbon accurate and are they accessible to practitioners? So we, met, uh, we uh, compared three different methods and um, what we found was that elemental analysis is sort of the gold standard but it is super, super expensive and super time intensive. So these other methods are a lot uh, more accessible, but the only one that actually got close to the gold standard was loss on ignition. And um, the good thing is that that's much cheaper, much more accessible, but you have to make sure that the conversion factor you're using to go from organic matter, which is what you get from loss on ignition, to organic carbon is accurate. So, um, the good thing is that this method is much more uh, feasible and it's actually still fairly scientifically accurate. Thank you all for listening.